stone, or a redstone, snow and stone there, or stone snow, that sounds dangerous. Um, <laughs> uh, so, oh yeah, Stuffy's talent. And in, under some of these, yeah, there's cobblestone in, under some of these ones. And over on this side of the room, I believe there's dirt, yeah, there we go, in some of these boxes. And I've got food, which I believe is empty, which means I'm going to starve. got some plants, which I can nibble on, nibble on some seeds, weapons and tools, and wood yeah it's, it's, i don't need to go through every single one you get the idea and i i I'd strongly recommend if you're building in any location for a large amount of time building some kind of room like this because having just a few chests and dumping everything just gets so complicated and even though after a long day mining down in the mines or going out gathering materials coming back and going to place something in here then place something in here then place something in here oh diamond shiny um yeah can seem a bit laborious when you just come back and you just want to dump everything but when you need to find something it just makes things so much easier we can literally go go and read and go grab it and once i've uh, been in this house for a while i'm sure it's just going to uh, become instinctive so i'm just going to instantly know uh, where exactly uh, everything is in which crate and i think building stuff in the floor is obviously um a quite a good idea also you can build stuff in the ceiling uh, just if you're going to have like loads of boxes full of dirt and cobblestone and stuff doing something like that works and plus using crates as something decorative i think is i don't know i mean i'm sure i'm not the first person to do it but i think it's a pretty good idea uh, so definitely think about using materials that aren't really designed for what they're meant to do you know maybe do something with furnaces or something to make things look pretty anyway i'm going to give you an update with what i've done since the last video um i really need to sort out some of these torches actually i'm going to do that first because that is really bugging me uh, the reason why it's just loads of torches completely covering this room is because I wanted to just kind of flood it with light because I kept getting enemies spawning uh, where I uh, in this room and so I basically just wanted to get like light everywhere just so um yeah um yeah so I thought there'd be less chance of them spawning but it didn't work they just carry on spawning in here anyway so my biggest recommendation if you do have fuck it i'm not sorting all these out these can stay yeah my biggest recommendation if you do keep having enemies spawning in on you um just make sure you go to bed early you know i mean you'll be your mum's been telling you it for years go to bed early and then um they won't have time to spawn in and you'll normally get a good night's sleep without any zombies spiders or skeletons uh waking you up oh my god but they will fucking hang out on your roof like what the hell are you doing up here Ugh, I hate zombies. I also have no food or anything to give me any help. And now it's daytime. Now the bloody zombie's dead, not having to be set on fire. And ah, oh, this is this is a beautiful view. This is my first sunrise spent on top of Stampy's lovely home. Let's just let's just spend a moment just here admiring the view as we watch the large <laughs> square sun arising from the horizon. Yeah, that's enough, I'm bored now. Okay, yeah, I'll show you what I've done. You've probably seen it already. This is a pond, which I've added, and unfortunately it's got a bit of a weird bump in the middle of it, a big bump of water, but it kind of makes it look a bit more like a fountain, I suppose. And I could do something a bit fancier to make it look like a fountain, do a basin or something, but there's really just not that much room to do anything that fancy. And I kind of like it having it made out of wood because it kind of connects these two buildings together. If you saw my last video, you hear me talking about how I've kind of gone and fucking creepers. I've kind of gone in and built each room separately without thinking about how they uh, join. And I think having it kind of having wood makes it look like it sort of carries on a bit more from that building. Uh, so yeah, I've got a little tiny little bridge here. And the way I did this bridge is, you'll see it's quite thin. I actually used uh, slabs rather than full blocks. Never forget that uh, you can make uh, wooden slabs as well. You just go in here and you can also make stone, uh, stone, uh, la, 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 sandstone slabs and uh, stone, <coughs> stone slabs and stuff. So, sorry, I completely got <laughs> tongue tied there. So, yeah, got a little bridge over here and it goes down to a little waterfall. I say little waterfall, a massive waterfall. Uh, which leads all the way down there and I'm going to be planting some trees and some probably some wheat or something up here as well I'm going to plant a tree in this little pocket here and a tree in that little pocket there just to give a bit of life up here originally I was going to have a proper garden up here but I realized with this feature here there's not really enough room for it so I'm probably going to have a garden maybe down there <laughs> there's Stampy's love garden or maybe up there somewhere where I can have uh, enough room to properly build a proper garden but yeah so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to plant these trees, maybe plant some more stuff up here, 
I'm going to avoid creepers and I'm going to hopefully build the majority of my uh, room in here. And I know I said last video that I was going to build this room but I kind of uh, ran out of materials so me and Craig went on a bit of a mining mission between these last two videos to hopefully gather everything I need. And um, yeah, it might seem a bit weird having this waterfall here because... That was elegant. Uh, because it might seem like it's going to block this doorway. Because what this doorway is, is going to be a bridge from here over to the opposite side over there. And most of the house is going to be built actually on this bridge. And it might seem stupid having the waterfall kind of right here as you exit. But there's going to be a glass roof. So it's going to be kind of like a river going across the top of the bridge. But like with glass, you can look up and just see like water above you. So hopefully that will look pretty cool. So right, I need to get some dirt. Have I got dirt? I do have dirt. Brilliant. I've decided to use the weird coloured trees for this just because they're not very common. Let's see if I can see any of them. Nope, because they're not common I can't see any of them. The ones that are kind of grey with black dots. I'm going to use that kind of tree just to make it stand out compared to everything else. Yeah, see that type of wood? That's the type of tree I'm going to have. Right. So let's just shove down a few um, saplings. Welcome to gardening with Stampy Longnose. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm going to make some bone meal to speed up the process. Yeah, if you don't know, if you make bone meal out of bones, obviously, um, you can speed up uh, the growth time of plants and stuff, which is pretty useful. I've not actually ever done it though, so I'm not entirely sure how I make bone meal. I believe I don't have to worry about using a furnace or anything. I think you just have just bone and a crafting table and you can make it. But I may be wrong. Let's find out. Okay, I went structures, tools, food, no, armor, mechanisms, transport. Oh, I don't know what it'd be in then. Sign, painting, bookshelf, paper, jukebox, diamond, gold. Uh, mechanisms it doesn't seem to fit into like any of the categories not food I don't think bone mill's edible charcoal, glowstone these are all swords bucket bowl, arrow flint and steel fishing rod, TNT definitely don't want to be placing that down tools, structures You know what? I have no bloody idea how I make bone meal then. Right, I'm going to have a go just shoving some bones into a furnace. You know what? By the time <laughs> I've made bone meal, those trees are probably going to have grown and they're probably going to have tree houses built in them and woodpeckers living in them and squirrels scurrying around them by the time I actually made some. Ooh, I made some iron. I forgot about that. All right, let's shove some bone in there. Nothing's happening, is it? Well, that, that's kind of stumped me. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be going down the uh, natural road and letting the uh, the trees grow at their own course. I think, this is a complete guess, but I think um, trees actually might grow bigger as well when you use bone meal, but that may be just, that might just be a downright uh, lie, to be honest. <laughs> so let's see if i got any other room to build other thing. I'm thinking of building like a, like another... Actually, no, I'm going to leave it like this. I think if I build anything else here, it's just going to be too cramped up here. I don't want it to be too cramped. There's not much room anyway. So I'm going to take this with me because this does not need to be up here anymore. I also found a bit of a glitch, by the way. With these um, these like tiles, these half bricks, uh, they're not actually counted as wood. You see, if I try and destroy them, it will take absolutely ages. And it's fucking raining. There we go. That might help my trees. Yeah, it, it's kind of, you see, grey coming out of it. It kind of thinks as if it's like... Um, stone or something so if you use a pickaxe it destroys it really quickly so there's just whoa that is not what I wanted oh, have I got any more of them yeah I do yeah so even though they are made out of wood it kind of counts it as if it's steel so if you place one and you're taking ages trying to destroy it then just do that yeah also you kind of saw earlier I've added just some fencing around here because I realized that if someone gets up on this roof uh, there's no chance they're not going to jump straight on here so just got a bit of a barrier here, so this is just a nice area we can kind of look around and I can show off my workmanship's building this little <laughs> top bit here. So this is that, that front entrance to my house. Oh yeah! I can't believe I didn't think of showing you. 
ow, and that really hurt. Um, yeah, this is this is um, Gregory's tree, and this is the tree which I planted in memory of Gregory's death, and it's it's shriving. And every time I look at it, I just think of Gregory's little face and his little tongue, and oh, a chicken. Um, yeah, so it's kind of ruined the grave, to be honest. It's, it's a nice idea having a tree in memory of him, but shoving it right in the middle of his grave was a bit stupid now. She can't even like read the sign unless you stand right next to it, and then you burn your balls off. So um, that was a bit of a fail. But I do actually miss Gregory. Like I pretty much, I pretty much only spent that one video. That one video when he's in it. That's pretty much all the time I spent with him. Like I basically got him just before that video. So I spent probably about 20 minutes with him, half an hour or so, and now he's gone, and I miss him, and he's a dog in a video game, so that is completely ridiculous, and I'm genuinely not even joking, I miss Gregory, so I'm, I'm just going to have to get uh, some kind of replacement dog or something. Right, I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to build this room, because I've got this glass here, so I don't want to put like just cobblestone on the other side of that glass. I might have just a glass wall along here, just so you can see from room to room. And there's a creeper. Why is there a creeper there? I'll just bugger off. Just leave me alone. I'm going to save the game because that that's never a bad idea. I mean, unless a creeper's just destroyed your house, then it'd be a bad idea. But generally, uh, don't forget to save, especially when there's people uh, in your world. Because I find that as soon as anyone joins my world, I just save instantly. Even if it's my most trusted friend who I know would do any wouldn't do anything to grief me uh, in my world uh, I just save anyway in case they accidentally lure a creeper or something bad happens you like I'm, I'm a compulsive saver anyway so uh, on Minecraft I'm just extra careful because I don't want hours of work to go down the drain because of one idiot or one creeper just ruins everything okay right so what do I need I got cobblestone I need to make a whole load of furnaces I think I might shove a crafting table in here for now so it's getting annoying having to keep going back oh I had one anyway didn't I Right, so, do I have much cobblestone? Right, I know there's cobblestones in some of these boxes. The problem with, oh god, that is not what I meant to do. The problem with having tiles on the floor which is storing everything is it's hard to know which is which. Here we go, I hit the jackpot. I think this is the first time I've ever been excited to see cobblestone. Normally I'm fighting to get rid of the stuff. Right, I need to dump some stuff. Dump some bones in here. Like bones, feathers, and string get so annoying. So you just get so much crap from just killing the enemies. I don't like him being there. I'm gonna lure him away. Right. Creeper. Creep creeper. Creeper, look, there's something I've spent hours on for you to destroy over here. Come on. I don't like it. I don't like them. Give him a smack. Oh, I'm, I'm pushing my luck, aren't I? Like, even though he's not near anything that, like, to destroy properly, like, it's just annoying when they destroy the ground, because they're like, it just really annoys me, and I've got to go and, like, fill it all in again. Probably doesn't help that music, like, oh, fuck. But at least he's gone, at least he's not going to destroy anything important. I suppose that's what, that's what matters. Alright, let's shove some furnaces in, shall we? Where are we? We've got seven. Okay, so I'm thinking of having, like, furnace, wooden block, window, window, wooden block, furnace. I don't know if that's... Actually, I might do furnace, furnace, wooden block. Right, let, let's just place it and see how this ends up. Let's just do this randomly. Right, I need to get some wood then, don't I? I'm getting bored of doing the I need to get wood joke, so... I'd add in your own, that's what she said, so whatever if you want because I'm not going to bother saying them right oh yeah I got if you don't know how to make a waterfall of stuff by the way you got to make a bucket out of iron I think it's three iron pieces and then you just uh, collect up water and then you place the water on a block and that becomes kind of like a spawning like block for either water or lava and it'll just like constantly keep flowing out of there and yeah it's pretty cool Okay, so I want to be like, um, wooden block. I need glass as well, don't I? I'm not being prepared for this, I'm sorry. Normally I get everything ready before a video, like I get all my materials and I'm just ready to go, but I've been very unorganised and I do apologise for that. Where'd my glass go? Here we go. 
That is one big thing that the the PC version has over Xbox is just fiddly using an analog stick on the menus. I mean, you do get used to it, but it's still not. You can't match a mouse and keyboard. Okay, so if that's another furnace there, you block glass, glass. What there? Yeah, works pretty much perfectly. Like furnace, wood, glass, glass, wood. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I'm gonna have two furnaces here, and I think I'm just gonna have crafting tables like all in. In like the middle of the area, I might have like a box of them. I'm hoping this is going to be enough furnaces though, because you do actually want uh, to usually have quite a lot of furnaces, because um, like often if you're making something on mass, like making a load of glass, uh, it will take ages if you're just using one. So I do recommend having having more than one on the go at the same time. <laughs> Always have more than one on the go, guys. That 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 advice has come recommended straight from Stanby. <laughs> Furnace, furnace, wood. No, I'm, I'm using normal wood, not wooden planks, uh, just because it looks kind of different. I think it, I think the glass wooden furnace sort of all works quite well. I actually got quite a lot of inspiration from the uh, the training level, because because I wanted to do like my first night in Minecraft, like kind of like going in blind, like I didn't want to know much about the game. Uh, I didn't like look anything up, so I didn't want to do training or anything. So I, I basically wanted to go into the game as a noob. Uh, because I hoped it would make it more funny. I was probably wrong. <laughs> I probably just looked like an idiot and annoyed everyone. But um, yeah, I kind of wanted to do that. So I didn't ever do the training or anything. But after that, uh, I decided just to do the training to try it out. And uh, I actually took quite a lot of inspiration from it. They sort of the, they they built like a little village in it, and I had a look around and just sort of how they've used things in the environment. Sort of was quite clever. I mean, obviously <laughs> it's the people that made the game or whatever who made the training level. Um, so you kind of understand it would be quite good but they did things like putting stairs on the roof of a building to make it look like a slope and stuff like that uh, which I thought was uh, quite cool and worked quite well and so that's sort of given me a few ideas in terms of just the uh, the aesthetics of what I want to create I'm just going to place a door in here because I think it's always good to have a back door just, it's just, I just want as many entrances to the house as possible so no matter what angle uh, someone's coming at it from, they can just go straight in. Right, so I've gone glass. Oh, I've done this wrong. There's supposed to be a wooden block between there. Balls, 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 balls. Right. Let's spend ages chiseling away a furnace then, shall we? I don't know if I'm going to have enough furnaces now. Oh, I've completely fucked this up. I think that this should be enough furnace. It'd be like furnace, furnace, like furnace, furnace, furnace. Yeah, there's gonna be wait. There's gonna be definitely enough furnaces if I just have them like single. I'm planning of also doing a video in the future of um, me going into the Neverworld. I thought that would be quite interesting because I'm not, I don't even properly understand what the Neverworld is. I got a general idea. I know there's lot of baddies down there and I think there's um, the chance of getting like much more valuable items like more regularly so I kind of get whoa oh my god is it night time I don't even know because of the rain well that was risky that was nearly me gone what are you trying to do there's no room it's just funny how that like they just press their faces up against the doors, especially creepers. Like, I'll be in here in my room, and I'll be pottering around, and I turn around, and I just see a creeper there, just with his face next to the door, like, um, you, you gonna open up? You, 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 you gonna let me in? No, I'm not. I haven't got a doorbell for a reason. I do not want to be disturbed. I think I might put a, a sign at the front. Do not want to be disturbed. See, what, what I would do now is go to sleep, and it would be morning, and then I'd carry on building, but... I just know I'm going to get woken up in the night by something with a crossbow or something that's undead. So, fuck it. I'm going to risk it. Even if I do die, I'm going to spawn back here. As long as I don't destroy my bed. <laughs> I'm tense now. Yep, there we go. Why, why did that happen? I was in a completely well-lit area and like there, there was no reason for me to die there. Stupid bloody zombie. I wish I'd just put a ceiling on the room I was building in so I could kind of just carry on, but I don't know if it's going to be a bit too dangerous out there. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to make myself an iron sword 
because this stone job is not doing me any favours. And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to face my fears and I'm going to become a better person because of it. Ah, oh, the, the most annoying thing about dying and then going and picking all your stuff up again is it just ruins the order, you know? You have everything laid out, got your most important things like your tools and stuff there and everything you're building with all laid out. Then you get killed and you pick it all up and it's just a jumbled up mess. But look, I'm being good, I'm being tidy and I'm putting everything away in the right container. I swear I picked up more stuff than I actually died with. Oh god, there's still enemies out there. Another annoying thing about when it's raining is that um, when things like don't get on fire, don't get set on fire, so like even if it is day and it's raining, like all the zombies and skeletons still carry on running around. There's not a creeper out here, is there? Right, I can take him out. Thanks. No, I can't. Oh my god. How can you have bad aim with a sword, you know? Just, oh god, right. Anyone else? Anyone else? Seriously, I take you all on. Until I hear a creeper, then I'll leg it. This is dumb, isn't it? This is dumb staying out here. Oh well. <laughs> that about sums me up. See, look, it's just ruined all my all my stuff. It's all in the wrong order. It's ridiculous. That's the most annoying thing about death. It's an inconvenience. I, mean, I could put some torches down, but to be honest, like at this stage, I don't think it would really matter because they're all charging me anyway, torches or otherwise. And I think that's what that's what I'll be using like these wooden blocks for. These are good torch placement positions. I think this looks quite cool. I think when it's finished, it'll look. I mean, it's it's a very big contrast from this room. This is all just bright and white chocolatey, and then this is going to be. A bit darker and dingier and brownie and greyy, but it sort of sort of sums up the room, you know. It's a it's a crafting room. This is this is a, a workman's room. I might build a double door here as well. Anyway, seeing as it is night time and rainy and just in all aspects a bit of a bad time to uh, be mine crafting, uh, I think this is a good point to end this video. So yeah, uh, in the next video you should see me just doing the last finishing touches on that. Uh, room. I'll probably build most of it without recording because uh, I don't want to bore you too much. And then uh, I'll probably start building my bridge. I'll probably start building the actual main part of my house, working my way across there. I also, at one point, want to go searching uh, for pigs. No, sorry. I want to go searching for a new dog. And as much as I love Gregory, to be honest, I probably couldn't tell the difference between him and another dog. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go hunting for another... Not hunting. I'm going to go searching uh, for another dog. Uh, to be my new companion because I was so much happier having a companion, you know? Like that video, like I enjoyed making it so much and I just kind of didn't even care what I was building. I was just having fun playing with my dog. <laughs> so it's such simple pleasures, you know? I mean, I think that's why I liked Fable 2 so much, just playing with my dog. So yeah, I'm going to go hunting for another dog and hopefully um, I can have another companion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you name him. So um, not on this video, but on the video where I find one. Uh, just leave a comment with a name uh, with a suggestion and uh, whatever's the most liked comment or if no comment's got any likes the first comment uh, I'll use that as the name as long as it's not like fuck tarred penis face or something then then I won't use that name because yeah <laughs> because I'm not 10 <laughs> anyway yeah I've dragged on way too much I've gone over 25 minutes pretty much so I've probably completely bored you so if you are at this point in the video I want to thank you for watching the video and thank you for watching it uh, for this <laughs> large amount of time but I'm going to set you free now by ending this video there'll be a link in the description if you want to watch the next video once it's uploaded but that's the end of this cheers for watching and I'll see you later